Good day. I'm Alexis Martino and you're watching STV News, your topical solution to alleviate that burning desire for strange but true news. In today's episode, we discuss a luxurious prison resort, sadistic tots, boneheads, and we'll introduce a new segment called Tuesday's Top Trending Twitter Topics. Our lead story today takes us to Venezuela's San Antonio prison. According to a New York Times dispatch, the prison, which houses the country's drug traffickers, is in a class of its own. San Antonio's Four swimming pools frequently host inmates' families and guests who lounge with barbecue meals and liquor. Paid bodyguards pass the time shucking oysters for alpha dog inmate Teofilo Rodriguez. Direct TV dishes serve the cells. Drug smuggling via guards is so prevalent that Venezuelan locals actually visit the prison to buy the surplus, which they carry out because guards only search them upon entering. Rodriguez's enforcement is backed up by an openly displayed arsenal of guns. Said a Russian drug trafficker inmate, this is the strangest place I've ever been. In other criminal news, these two youngsters just might be kingpins in the making. In April, a loaded handgun fell from the pocket of a kindergarten student in Houston, firing a single bullet that slightly wounded two classmates and the shooter. In Lakewood, Colorado, police attempting to wrest control of a sharpened stick that a second grade boy was using to threaten classmates and a teacher gave him two shots of pepper spray. The boy had just finished shouting to police, get away from me you f***ers. Now it's time for not the sharpest crayon in the box. I have a couple of doozies for you. Rachel Avila, 30, finding what she thought was a novelty cigarette lighter, four inches long and shaped like a derringer in front of her home, tried to light a cigarette with it and ricochet a shot into her daughter's arm. Are you one of those people who continually updates their Facebook status? So is Victor Burgos, a domestic violence suspect who updated his status to, catch me if you can, I'm in Brooklyn. Soon after, he was, and they, U.S. Marshals and NYPD, did. And finally, Tuesday's top trending Twitter topics, where we construct a short piece of prose based on what you apparently are most interested in talking about. Here goes. Dear Santa, you must be crazy to be so obsessed with Pottermore. There is always that one person, Gabrielle Giffords, who I find very brave. And aren't you tired of those fat girls from Merch Central? As always, born electric, Judy. Well, that's all for me this week. I hope you got your fill of crazy news and Twitterific compilations. Unfortunately, STV's resident drag queen Darla Day will not be here for Darla Day's Daily Dose this week. You know drag queens, they love to be fashionably late. But she'll definitely be here next week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And of course, we will end this week's show with another segment of GB's Gripe. Apparently, he truly despises paperless billing. And these paperless trails? I like paper. I like to see my bills. I like to see where I paid them, when I did, and what check number. Don't tell me it's crap 